A super detailed picture of heat waves from a faraway planet surprises everyone in space science. James Webb's surprising find reveals things researchers didn't predict. Using the best tool yet, scientists studied a planet far away and showed that space exploration is heading into a new era. The James Webb Telescope made an amazing discovery around the exoplanet WASP 96b that left scientists stunned. Could there be life on this far off planet? WASP 96b is like a mysterious traveler in the vast darkness of space. Sometimes, it swings close to its star, giving us a chance to observe it from Earth. This planet moves super fast orbiting its star in just 3.5 Earth days. It's incredibly close to its star, making its atmosphere scorching hot, over 725 degrees Celsius. Ever since we found it in 2014, this planet has been full of mysteries, and now, with the James Webb Telescope, scientists are starting to unlock its secrets. WASP-96b hangs out with its star about 1,150 light-years away in the constellation Phoenix. It's probably a huge ball of gas, kind of like Jupiter, but smaller. Even though it's similar to Jupiter, it's unique, there's nothing exactly like it in our solar system. In June 2022, the Webb Space Telescope got the clearest view yet of this mysterious world. People on Earth are super interested in it. The Webb Telescope showed off its amazing talent for studying faraway planets in detail. For the first time ever, scientists spotted water, clouds, and haze in the atmosphere of this hot, puffy gas giant called WASP-96b. What's the big deal with WASP-96b? Well, Scientists got really excited about it. James Webb used his amazing tools to take a super close look at this hot gas giant. He revealed details about its atmosphere so precisely that it blew astronomers' minds. It's like using binoculars to peek into a distant house and suddenly seeing every little thing inside. Imagine how amazed you'd be. In 2022, when scientists looked at WASP-96b, they felt like they were right there, seeing it with their own eyes. They are super enthusiastic about this incredible discovery. What used to be just guesses became real facts. James Webb's instrument, called NIRIS, gave us the clearest picture ever of an exoplanet's atmosphere. This picture, called a transmission spectrum, happens when light from a star passes through the planet's atmosphere. Comparing this to light without the planet's influence helps scientists learn a lot. This kind of study works best when the planet passes right by its star, which scientists call a transit. That's when we get the most accurate data. What's so exciting about this diagram? With his special instrument, James Webb created a complete picture of the planet's atmosphere, called a transmission spectrum. It's the most accurate picture we've ever had of an exoplanet. This spectrum happens when light from a star passes through the planet's atmosphere and gets compared to light without the planet's influence. This kind of study works best when the planet passes right by its star, which scientists call a transit. That's when we get the most accurate data. James Webb made a cool diagram using 141 points of data. Each point looks like a white circle and represents a different color of light. These differences happen because the planet absorbs some starlight and blocks or changes other light waves. This leaves behind a kind of fingerprint of the planet's atmosphere. When planets reflect light, we can learn things about what they are made of from these diagrams. 
One of the lines on the diagram shows how the brightness of the light changes when the planet passes in front of its star. The colors range from red, which is 6 micrometers, to near infrared, which is 2.8 micrometers. This new technology is amazing. For the first time ever, we can say specific things about faraway planets. Scientists can figure out what gases are in a planet's atmosphere by studying how light is absorbed. Each gas has its own special pattern of light waves. James Webb can spot these patterns automatically and quickly gives us the finished diagrams and data after just a few hours of watching. Scientists can learn a whole bunch of stuff from these diagrams. For example, they can figure out how hot the atmosphere is and what gases are there, like water. A super hot planet like WASP 96b shows really tall peaks in the diagrams, which tells us there's water vapor and clouds. The measurements in the diagrams can change and scientists can even guess how thick and high the clouds are. Other graphs show how much of different gases there are and if there are any signs of life. It'll take a long time to study all the data from WASP-96b, but scientists have already shared some cool facts with us. We know there's water vapor on the planet, clouds in the sky, and it's really, really hot, around 725 degrees Celsius. So, there's probably no life there. If WASP-96b is anything like Jupiter or Saturn, it's not a very cozy place to live. It's like a technical marvel. Thanks to SOS and Nearus, we've got this amazing detailed picture of heat waves from faraway planets. But it's not magic, it's solid technology making it happen. The fact that Webb can study distant worlds was expected, but it's blowing scientists' minds with how well it does it. We've only been finding planets outside our solar system since the 1990s, and now, for the first time, we're getting important details about these far-off places. WASP-96b might not be a good spot for life as a gas giant, but James Webb's instruments can find Earth-like planets and maybe even signs of life. They looked at WASP-96b super closely using the SOS mode of Nearus. SOS, which means Single Object Slitless Spectroscopy, is a fancy way of saying they studied the light from one thing without using a slit. This lets them see a wider range of light colors, making the analysis easier and the data better. SOS can capture light from red to near infrared, which is really handy for figuring out what gases are in a planet's atmosphere. It's like giving scientists superpowers. The James Webb Space Telescope is way more advanced than any telescope before it. It uses special tools to see things in infrared light, which is like a secret code that tells us about the atmosphere of planets. This makes it much better at finding out what's in the air on other worlds, like water vapor and carbon dioxide. With its fancy gadgets, like the near-infrared camera and the spectrograph, it can see a huge range of infrared colors, way more than older telescopes like Hubble. This means we can study big planets more easily. Scientists are just getting started with all this cool stuff. There are still trillions of planets out there in the Milky Way, and we've only spotted a tiny fraction of them. But with the James Webb Telescope, we're on the brink of discovering whole new worlds. Who knows what amazing things we'll find in the next 10 years. Finding planets outside our solar system is like searching for hidden treasure in the dark.
They don't shine on their own, and even big ones just look like tiny dots when they pass in front of their stars. But thanks to amazing telescopes like Hubble, launched in 1990, we've started to unlock some secrets. Hubble wasn't made specifically to find planets, but it's given us valuable clues about these distant worlds. Then, in 2009, Kepler joined the game. It's like the Sherlock Holmes of space, spotting tiny changes in starlight to find planets. Kepler changed the game, and every day, we find more and more planets out there. Why do we care? Well, understanding other planets helps us figure out how life might form and evolve in the universe. It's like studying different recipes to learn how to bake a cake. But there's still so much we don't know. Are we alone in the universe? Where did life on Earth come from? And if there are other life forms out there, where are they hiding? To answer these big questions, we need to keep exploring these distant planets.